Welcome to 5 Steps to Photoshop Adding a Vignette Adding a vignette is the single most self-dependent effect that can enhance your images significantly and make them look gorgeous. Follow these steps along with me and you will be able to add your own vignette inside of Photoshop. Step 0 Open your image inside of Photoshop and create a copy of your image layer by pressing Ctrl plus J on your keyboard and drag your image layer to the new layer icon. Hide the visibility of the previous layer. This will serve as a mean to track our progress. One last prerequisite, create a layer filled with black between the two layers. Step 1. Select the copy layer and click on the add layer mask. If you don't know what a layer mask is or what layer masks are and how do they work, don't worry. Step 2. Select the gradient tool and open up its properties by clicking here. Here, you get to select how transparent or opaque, how deep or thin your gradient is. Remember, in case of a layer mask, white reveals and black conceals. Step 3 Make a gradient like this by clicking and selecting a color. Make sure the radial property is selected and press OK. Step 4 Drag from the center of attraction to any end. Adjust the gradient so that it looks like a fading vignette. And boom, you're done. Step 5 and the final step. You can adjust the thickness of the vignette by double clicking on the layer mask and reducing the density. Congrats, you're done. Postscript. This is not the only way you make a vignette. There are so many more ways. In fact, so many easier ways. The method I, the method I showed you was probably the most sophisticated way. You could have done Something like creating a gradient on a new layer and setting the blend mode to multiply and then play around with the opacity. The reason I chose this way because it makes you feel like a Photoshop power user. My intention was to introduce the power of the layer mask. Now get your creative hats on and make something awesome. Thank you.